Hey guys, what's up? It's the Culture Detective here investigating your favorite albums and today I'm going to do a second review of the day and that would be an album review on the latest Split album. Split between three different artists and these three artists are South Korean band Paranul, South Korean artist Asian Glow and Brazilian artist Sonios Tomam Conta which means Dream Takes Over Me, which is a really cool name for an artist. And the album title is Downfall of the Neon Youth. So yeah, I have to talk about this album because earlier this year I reviewed Paranol's latest album to see the next part of the dream and for some reason, completely surprisingly, this album review became my most viewed album review on YouTube and it has like I, I gained like nearly 50 subs because of this video so wow what the heck is going on so i kind of have to talk about this one now because uh paranol is, is in it as well but on top of that we also have two other artists asian glow and sonio stomam conta and all three of them also make a similar kind of music, emo, noise pop, shoegaze, and noise rock. And even though these three artists have some musical differences between each other, all three of them are pretty similar in sound, style, and lyrics as well. It's actually kind of amazing how even though lyrically the lyrics on this album range between uh, Korean, English, and Brazilian Portuguese, it's still kind of similar in that the lyrics explore themes of sadness and dreams and life in abstract ways. Like it, it just breaks language barriers and I really like that. Now of course we have Paranul whose musical style is more shoegaze and, and pop oriented, the vocals are more robotic and the lyrics are usually a little bit more plain and a little bit more straightforward and sincere a la, you know, car seat headdress lyrics except even more depressed and maybe less diaristic. Then we have Asian glow style which is way more rock oriented. His vocals are super visceral and his chord progressions are usually kind of punk. And then we have Sonios Tomam Conta whose music borderlines on black metal. It's super loud, super noisy, super chaotic and it's easily the most chaotic three tracks on the entire album. So we have the album opener Nails by Asian Glow and it already starts off with an amazing start. We have these constantly slamming drums, soaring guitars, distorted synths and these very very powerful vocals. Asian Glow's vocals on this album is freaking insane and I really really like it. It reminds me a lot of the frontman of the band Ice Age except even more depressed, even more angsty, and I just really love it. I also like the very um, sort of uh, abstract lyrics about regrets and self-hatred. Next up, we have the track Insomnia by Paranol, which is already a more steady and contained musical style than the other two artists on the album. We have uh, beautiful lively pianos and these robotic vocals and usually I dislike robotic vocals but since the track is about sadness, it is about pain, it is about self-hatred, these robotic vocals fit these lyrical topics really well. I also like the lyrics. I lie down, I wake up, I die, I live. The repetitiousness of life, trying to find meaning in all of that, trying to find something entertaining or something memorable in all of that and I just really like it. I like the fast rhythmic drums and Overall, it is a really solid song. It also sounds somewhat different from Paranol's songs off of To Live, To See the Next Part of the Dream because the music on that album is a little bit more derivative of other shoegaze emo acts, but this one feels more unique, feels more sequenced and stylish, and I really like that. Then we have the track Todos or Sonios Que Eu Tive which means All the Dreams I've Had by Sonios Tomam Conta. And this is 
easily one of the noisiest and most chaotic tracks on the entire album. We get these really reverby vocals and a uh, very nice psychedelic guitar solo in the middle. And lyrically, this track dives pretty deep, exploring different dreams that the artist, the writer of the song has and how it sort of creates meanings and patterns between one another, which I really love. One thing about Sonio Stomam Conta does on this album, even better than the other two acts is that his lyrics are usually super descriptive and very poetic and I just really like it. However, instrumentally this track is a little aimless and directionless at times which makes the track sound a little bit off like the instrumentals and the vocals and, and other bits of the instrumentals just do not match with one another. And the next track is by Asian Glow, Phone Ringing on Corridor which has these dreamy cascading guitars that are really raw and scratchy. Also, I love the buzzing sound effects in the instrumentals. And overall, it is a really solid song by Asian Glow. He does not miss. Then it is the track Colors by Paranol, which is eight minutes of colorful, vibrant shoegaze. I love the shimmery keyboards. We get these thunderous, stuttering bass in this track, which is which just kind of flickers like like a like a breaking light bulb and it just constantly blasts and then goes back and then blasts again and I just really love that sound design. I like that in the middle of the track it just suddenly gets kind of spacey and then it builds up to a soaring epic climax towards the end. And even though this track is eight minutes long, the lyrics on this track is really simple. Color me, release my colors. And the way I speculate it, I think this track is about trying to find colors in life, given how gray and black life can be, you know, trying to find colors, trying to find happiness in life and release my colors as in release uh, my true nature, you know, wanting to find an outlet in this world. And yeah, even though lyrically it's not super complicated or anything, instrumentally with the very shimmery and, and, and bright instrumentals and the lyrics together, it kind of creates a meaning in and of itself as well. Then it is the track Tons de Azul by Sonios Tomam Conta. It is 2 minutes and 44 seconds long and it is the noisiest track on the entire album. It borderlines on black metal. We get these blast beats and these very loud growls by Sonios Tomam Conta. And Lyrically, I really like it. I like the very poetic and descriptive lyrics about waking up in a ruined city, entering a house and finding blood and broken bottles of pills on the ground, which is very sad, very uh, powerful. But that being said, though, I still think instrumentally this is one of the most stale tracks on the entire album. Then the next track, One May Be Harming, is another one of my favorite tracks on the entire album. We have uh, Asian Glow returning with these very, very refreshing chords, these spamming crispy guitars, which I really love, and him just screaming his ass off incredibly visceral and, and powerfully. And lyrically, it is about grief and loss. Finally, Sonio Stomam Conta delivers Bento Caminha Conmigo, which is an eight and a half minute long track with a gorgeous bed of keys and synths in the intro. And I like how throughout the whole track, the chords kind of change from one bit to another bit. And tonally, it changes from noisy to dreamy to noisy to dreamy. It has a lot of dynamic. It has a lot of change and I really like that. And finally, the album ends off with 70 Seconds Before Sunrise and Love My Grain, both tracks from Paranol. The former is an interlude which leads to the latter, which is uh, the most quiet track on the entire album. We get these uh, very simple robotic vocals, simple instrumentals, reverby keyboards, and a sequenced beat. And lyrically, it is about self-love self-hatred and conflict and I really like it when Paranol explores lyrical concepts like this. Oh my god, every single time I film a video. So yeah, overall this album is a pleasant surprise. I actually like this album even more than to see the next part of the dream. Maybe it's because they're 
is more of a uh, uh, there are more various styles on this album and instrumentally and stylistically there is more uh, flavor in this album I, I like both of them but I actually like this even more and it is just a very visceral and powerful and emotional emo shoegaze noise pop noise rock album that's just uh, kind of brilliant and uh, I really like it. It's consistent as well. Every single track matches with each other really well, yet at the same time there are distinct styles you can pick up from every single track. So uh, I'm just gonna leave it at that. My voice is getting raspy. I can't talk anymore. My favorite track here is Colors and my least favorite track is Don Ste Azul. I'm giving Paranul Asian Glow and Sonio Stoman Conta's Downfall of the Neon Youth a strong 8 out of 10. So, have you listened to the latest split album from the 3 from 1 to 10? Did you rate it, like it, like it, and subscribe if you want more? And thanks for watching. I will be reviewing Ed Sheeran, Limp Biscuit, and uh, whatever albums there are very soon.